Hey, we're in a large care facility that HD Concrete Inc. is placing concrete into and they have some gable end walls. Now a lot of you people have asked me about gable end walls and so I thought, hey, I'm going to go shoot some video on this and we'll explain how this is going now. They did a, a lift of concrete and on the second lift they started to fill the gables themselves right to the top. Now they're using a pretty stiff concrete. This is a four inch slump or a hundred slump, hundred millimeter slump concrete. And with that, you're going to have to consolidate it to make sure that the rebar is seated properly and that there's no voids in the wall. So the, this crew, they have, um, let's see, an 18 volt on the top picture there, 18 volt cordless vibrator and then a corded vibrator. And these guys knew how to use it too. Fast in, slow out, make sure that all the air pockets are out and that the rebar is seated properly. Now I've used up to a six inch slump or 150 slump concrete in this type of a gable, up to a 612 gable. I had no problem at all with it. The, the concrete would want to slip out a little bit, but not enough that it was a concern and I'd just knock it back up with the trawl and be just fine. Now if you get uh, up to a 12, 12 pitch, a, a steep 45 degree pitch, you may need to put a 1x4 or 2x4 on each side of that gable and then use pieces of plywood as you're filling it if the concrete's too wet. But I've done a 12-12 pitch without any shoring whatsoever. I had no problem. So anybody can do it. It's very easy to do a gable. And if you go on to our web website, you can find all the approvals for doing fire separation walls. We have the approvals there for you to download. And these kind of walls are pretty common in the construction that we do. So download the paperwork and, and get to it. You can all do it.